Uh, I think it's time for a call for help. You want to do it? I do. All right. Jalal. Here we go to Homestead, Florida. Hey, Jalal. You guys doing? I'm great. Are you, you. It says here you're a kindergarten teacher? Yes. Yes, I am. Well, that's great. What can we do for you? Uh, I really was... Um, jealous of your Minecraft server, and I would like to set one. Who up is it? Everybody my, is <laughs> for my s students. Wait a minute, for your kindergartners? Yes. Do they play Minecraft? I thought they didn't, but then I saw a few of them grab their parents' phone, and first thing they Holy did was get cow. on Minecraft. Yeah, five five years old, I think. I mean, and younger probably yes. every day. Yeah. Really? So, well, yeah, they. It, I'm they were playing it. it better than I can. I'm all for it. I think of it as Legos. It's digital Legos, and it's about building. Uh, I think it's a great idea for you to run a private server just for your kids for, you know, safety. But also, you can turn on settings like you can make it creative mold only. There can be, you know, so there's no battling. There's no violence in there. You can uh, give them all sorts of nice features. You can constrain the environment. And eventually, if you run your own server, you can get them programming in Python. So you may remember I interviewed Craig Richardson. He has a wonderful book on Learn to Program in Minecraft. Highly recommend that. He talks about setting up a server. Here's where I would start with this. $35. It's a Raspberry Pi. In, in fact, this is the first. This is the, that didn't work at all, by the way. But nice, nice try. Sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> we're, both, we're, both, we're both getting over the uh, NAB flu. Um, so do you, if, you may have a computer, in which case this w same advice would apply, setting up a Minecraft server merely requires that you have a, a computer, you download the server software, you don't have to actually play Minecraft in the server, it's just a server which other people will play Minecraft on. But this is how I got started with a $35 Raspberry Pi. And this web page, this is from Pi My Life Up. <coughs> it's called Dead Easy Raspberry Pi Minecraft Super Server Tutorial. It's literally a step-by-step. -step. You're gonna learn to download and install a third-party Minecraft server, not the official server, called Spigot. I highly recommend it. Spigot runs on lower quality hardware like this Raspberry Pi. You can get five kids into a Raspberry Pi 2. I think a Raspberry Pi 3, you probably could get more in five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten kids. But there's a lot of information in here. And you can just do this as a cooking recipe. I did it last night. I haven't done it in a while. I'm running right now my Minecraft server on an old Mac. Works fine. Old Mac, Windows, Linux box. It's very easy to do. But what I did is I installed it on this. Now, what I'm going to do is hook this up. And I'm going to show you because Megan and I can actually play this. M Raspberry Pis come with an HDMI port. This doesn't matter to the kids, by the way. You're going to put this on the network. So I'm going to plug in Ethernet. It supports Wi-Fi, too. But for a server, if you can get an Ethernet cable, that'll be better. And we're not going to make this a public server. I think the best idea is to make it so that only... Um, only the kids can play it when they're on the premises. Is that what you want to do, Jalal? Yes, that would be best. And I was just curious if it needed internet because the school Wi-Fi blocks everything. So I no, would like it. It does not. To... Okay, perfect. So you're gonna essentially what you're gonna do. Let me get the power cable, which is by the way just a micro USB cable. There is also a power supply you can get for this thing, but but you know the ch phone charger that you use is probably enough. I'm gonna plug in my USB keyboard and mouse. Not that I'm going to need it because as this boots up, in fact, you could show the uh, show the screen uh, as it's booting up. You'll see it's going to boot into Linux. And I set this up uh, using this recipe at uh, Pi My Life Up to just boot right into Minecraft. So once you connect this up, you've got a Minecraft server running in your house. It's running on Raspbian, which is the version of Linux that is made specifically for the Raspberry Pi. Now that it's booted up, you should see our server. And this is what your kids will do. And they can get in there, and it's really, it's in creative mode if you want. I mean, you don't have to be. I would recommend, as they, as they do, an 8-gigabyte card. I actually, I think I put a 32-gigabyte micro SD card in there. They're not very expensive. Uh, you're going to download onto your computer something called Noobs, which is the startup operating system for a Raspberry Pi, N-O-O-B-S. You download it and you put it on the micro SD card from your computer, and then you put that micro SD card in the Raspberry Pi and boot up, and it'll say, oh, it'll boot up, and it'll say, oh, what operating system? You're gonna choose Raspbian, which is a specialized version of the Linux operating system, Debian, for the Raspberry Pi. You install that, there we go, now it's booting up. Um, it does go through this process of 
downloading Java, you don't need to do that anymore. The new, the new version of, De of uh, Raspbian has Java built into it, OpenJDK. And then you will download something oh, called in. Build Tools. And Build Tools is really cool. This is the Spigot Minecraft server. Build Tools actually builds the whole server from scratch. It downloads it. There you go. You are actually mm -hmm. running I'm that in. on the Raspberry Pi. Let me go into mine, too. Uh, and awesome. and once you install the build tools, it's actually not much more than that. You, you'll you'll do a little bit of configuration, and you'll have uh, Minecraft running, and the kids can play it. And uh, as 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 you said, five five kids, right? Six kids at a time. Yeah, about five. This is e you know this is the old Raspberry Pi too, and it's not a problem for it to have uh, five people in here. Both both Megan and I are in it simultaneously. You wouldn't think, frankly, that uh, that you could do this with such a $35 computer, but you absolutely yeah. can. And I don't know, there's Megan. Yeah, I'm there. Why are you, why are you, why are you cutting staring at that tree? Oh, you're I... cutting down a tree. <laughs> Megan's called Milo, I don't know why. <laughs> yes, but I am. As you can see, we're that's... both in there together, <laughs> uh, as your kids will be. And this is a beautiful world, look at it. We're actually, we actually have kind of an interesting world with rivers and mountains and all sorts of stuff. Uh, I think you're gonna really enjoy it. Um, highly recommended. Are, do you have? Have you ever used Linux before? I actually a month ago I bought my first Raspberry Pi. Oh, so you're set, dude. That, this, that's my this, first this, experience. It's with really it. it's a great way to run um, uh, run a, a Minecraft server. You don't need a fancy computer to do it. It's there's not that much necessary to do that. So I think that if now, of course, we, now that Meg and I are playing, we're going to the show is we now have to, over. Do we have to do the rest of the show? No, no. isn't okay, this excellent. fun? Now, don't you love <laughs> Minecraft? I think it's really fun. Maya, have she can have do you it. played she it much, Jalal, at all? I mean, is, are you new to Minecraft? Or I'm is... new to I'm new to Minecraft. When I first got the Raspberry Pi, you know, I set it up and I went through their Minecraft version. And I they was have thinking, a kind okay. of primitive version on there. That's right. Yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, but the advantage of that is that version is free, which is really nice. You know, this is one negative I'll have to mention is you're going to have to buy a copy of Minecraft for oh, every fine. kid that's playing. And so that's about $30, right? Okay. The one that comes on the Raspberry uh, Pi is free, but it's not very good. It's a kind of a simplified, simplified version of well, Raspberry Well, do you think uh, Minecraft EDU, and the, they have tool, cheaper versions for class? Yeah, you might look at that. I don't know if this server is compatible or not with mm. Minecraft EDU. This certainly it runs with the generic Minecraft, and as you build it, it will be the most recent version of Minecraft, in this case 1.9.2. Uh, you may have to update it if a new version comes out or or set up the kids with an older uh, profile that uh, uses the older version it is dead simple i mean <laughs> i, I could away. in fact it, you know, i know it's, it's, <laughs> that's the other thing if you've not played it before by the way kill three sheep and a couple of trees so you can make a bed and build a little house before night falls they're nice sheep but you got to teach the kids to, no no this they're going to be playing a creative <laughs> yeah. mode they're right. going to be so playing they can't a creative blow up mode. any cows yeah in fact let's uh, <laughs> let's uh, change the game mode to creative mode and then I can fly I can build stuff you get unlimited resources uh, it really it's a lot of fun I l I'm actually totally sold in the va educational value of Minecraft right I am as well. yeah yeah so it's not hard again the the place to go and this is how I learned in fact I built it on a Pi first and ran it for a little while and then I thought I want I want to try it on a big computer where do, do I have oh my old Mac Pro is just a doorstop right now so I put it on the Mac Pro and it's really great I mean it's uh, I, I put all sorts of extensions and stuff that's one thing you won't be able to do is add a whole bunch of extra little doohickeys on mm. this it's just gonna be pure Minecraft but I think that's fine for for, yeah. fifth, for kindergartners Kinder five oh yes yeah. for sure yeah, yeah. Hey, that's great, Jalal. Well, Good you, for you. When you get it set up, you send us photos. And, oh, uh, for sure. Yeah. But again, thank and that's you so it, much. You're welcome. And that's important because I put it on this network. If you don't open a hole in the router, and since the school has the router, you won't be able to. If you don't port forward the router to the Minecraft port, nobody will be able to get in your server. So that's okay. it's just going to be the people who are on your local area network on the Wi Fi at the school. That's it. You And if the school's blocking out, inbound packets they may have something that's blocking minecraft traffic on there i doubt they do that's kind of more sophisticated but you might want to talk to the administrators make sure it's okay with them okay. just local <laughs> thank you all right Jill, <laughs> thank you fun. very much it's really fun yeah. 35 dollar pie nothing to it it's yeah. the simplest thing in the world